Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Today I am going to share uh, a bit of an introduction about the Mahasi Sayadaw's uh, Vipassana method, uh, his, his method uh, uh, on Vipassana meditation. Now I have discovered this, uh, this method a few weeks back through chance and as they say that when the student is ready the teacher appears. So this meditation method is like that for me. I have been researching on insight meditation and various research I have been doing and finally I just came across this particular method and it's a it's by Mahasi Sayadaw which is who, who is a very who, who was a very very eminent uh, scholar monk and he revived the uh, Vipassana in, in across the world uh, and he is a Burmese he was a Burmese monk uh, so uh, I will just share some of my uh, some of uh, the points related to this meditation uh, see the aim of the video is that to introduce you to the Mahasi's method see I cannot cover uh, the the meditation, entire meditation instruction. Uh, I am not a Dharma teacher. I am a student only. So I can, I am just introducing you. There is a book. The link is given uh, down below. You can read the book. You can get your insights and you can start. If you resonate with Mahasi's method, then you can start practicing Vipassana in, in, in his method. Right? Now, basically, I have just made a few points so that um, my focus is there. Uh, this, now, this book, uh, it is the book is Satipatthana Vipassana uh, by Mahasi Sedao. Uh, the link of this book is given in the description. This book is basically based on the talks that were given by Mahasi. So in the Burmese monastery where Mahasi was teaching, they used to give a talk to everyone who was new person was coming. Uh, so every day they used to give a talk. Then finally they recorded the uh, in a tape recorder and then the, the particular recording was, was played. Right? And then over time, then we do a lot of demand of people. They uh, trans translated that particular recording into a book right? and this book is in, available in, in English form it is for free available for free uh, the link is there in the description so this is book this book the text of the book is based on a talk given by Mahasi to the 15 devotees in 1951 right and now and uh, the book was published in 1954 uh, the book is freely available in English the link is down below and also the audio book uh, is all format also is available uh, credit to audio Buddha uh, audio Buddha uh, YouTube channel they have uh, done it in an audiobook format and uh, uh, that is how I came across this particular meditation method so many many credit cre credits gratitude and meta to them for publishing it as audiobook so the link of that YouTube video is also given in the description right now if this is based on the Satipatthana Sutra Satipatthana Sutra is the four foundations of mindfulness that the Buddha said was the only way to free a person from this cycle of birth and death so it's based on that Satipatthana Sutra, right? Uh, as I said, the main aim of the video is to introduce to the method so that you can deep down, deep dive at your end if you are interested. Uh, over time, uh, you can also try to get a personal instruction from a from a teacher uh, uh, in the in the uh, Mahasi's tradition in the Thera. So Mahasi's Vipassana meditation falls into the Theravada tradition of Buddhism. So if you are interested, over time, then you can try to get a personal instruction. From the teacher, it's taught. Masi's method is used by various. Uh, is taught uh, by the various you know monasteries. Not only in, in the uh, in many of the countries where Theravada Buddhism is very popular. So you can try that. Even I will try that. Uh, there are no uh, Buddhist temples or monasteries near where I live. So uh, maybe someday I will travel to some some place. There is a Mahasi's monastery in Burma. Mahasi's uh, Shaidaus monastery is there in Burma. But uh, due to the current political situation if anyone wants to travel I think it's not advised to travel to Burma but hopefully things settle soon so and they and even Thailand and all though the monasteries are there so you can get go there and get personal instruction over time right now you can start with the book if you feel if you resonate okay now one thing is that the Mahasi's tradition the Mahasi's method is different from the Goenka's method SN Goenkaji's method uh, which is very uh, which is famous in India uh, and other parts of the world also. So Mahasis, so basically they, the, they have come from Burma only but there are some fine differences between what the Mahasis Sadao's method is there and the Goenka's method is there which is coming from a different lineage of teachers. So I think everything is more or less we should not go into finding differences but if you ask still the main differences what I found is that in the Goenka's tradition the focus is on nostrils right in the, in the meditation your focus is on the nostrils here in Mahasis meditation your focus is in the rising and falling of the abdomen. That is the one main difference. 
personally for me uh, focusing on the nostrils was very difficult and i resonate with focusing on the rise and fall of the abdomen so that was the one main difference second main difference was that in goenka's uh, tradition uh, in goenka's method uh, it's uh, so i have not done the 10 day i have not been able to do the 10 day course because of certain reasons uh, but whatever i have read from the various discourses and all in goenka's method there is a very high uh, focus on the bodily sensations right but in the mahasi's tradition it's more on the labeling of the activities day to day activities not on the bodily sensations right so these are two some very strong uh, differences that i could find out see what method works for you if goenka's method works for you please do try and see if you can do the 10 day session and and go ahead or you can try the mahasi's method uh, all methods are one lead to the one and same goal and uh, there's just some differences in the teachings that's the only difference right no one method is good or bad whatever resonates with you 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 can follow that now just uh, uh, before we move to the back method and the background uh, uh, just something about Ma- about mahasi sadao uh, he was a most uh, one of the most eminent meditation masters of the modern times and he was responsible con- uh, contemporary responsible for the resurgence of vipassana meditation he was born in 1904 and he became a novice monk in 12 years and received full ordination at the age of 20 and he quickly distinguished himself as a scholar in the buddhist scriptures he was conferred burma's highest scholastic honor the title of agga mahapandita in 1952 and he died in 1982 uh, you can also there is a link on uh, from a wikipedia link that i am giving in the description to do, read more about mahasi sadao okay now we come to the background right before moving to the main method Uh, what is the background see what just some points that i have listed from the book satipatthana vipassana is that mahasi says it's very important for everyone to generate three things uh, three virtues of moral conduct which is sila concentration which is samadhi and wisdom which is panna all these three things we need to generate in our life now when we talk about the moral conduct then uh, it's the five precepts that we need to uh, fo- follow for the precept of no killing no lying no stealing no sexual misconduct no drinking these five things we need to follow in our daily life if you are a monastic uh, there and there are another code of monastic dis- discipline is applicable or if you are doing in a, a meditation retreat or something then three more precepts like the not uh, uh, wrong drink, wrong f- eating food at the wrong time and luxurious beds and those things are applicable but otherwise as lay people we need to follow the five precepts in our daily life but mahasi says that only following the precepts doesn't guarantee that you don't go into the lower realms right when you follow the five precepts definitely you get born in a higher realms conducive realms for your growth so there are 31 realms of existence i will not go detail in that particular thing uh, i'll make a separate video on that but mahasi said that only if you focus on moral conduct that is not the right thing you have to go beyond the moral conduct and focus not on the ordinary virtues but on the cultivation of the supra mundane virtues supra mundane virtues if you follow then you enter a stage in your spiritual uh, uh, attainment where you do not go into the lower realms because lower realms which is the realms of animals ghosts pratas and the uh, uh, the uh, hell realms there you can get stuck in thousands of years right so because of any wrong action so morality is fine but the our main goal is to cultivate the development of the wisdom right through and how the wisdom is developed through the practice of vipassana meditation vipassana meditation right so now this meditation the method is basically to observe there are two things materiality and mentality materiality is all the gross stuff the body and the things and the objects outside and second is the mentality the consciousness with which we are doing right so we have to observe both both materiality as well as mentality now uh, he gives the example of a scene like an act of seeing so generally when we see something like uh, uh, i see some some object so i general our perception is that the eyes are seeing that object bahasi says no that is the wrong interpretation we see that i and the eyes are the same and we are seeing that object mahasi says that is wrong it there are three things that are involved one is the eye second is the object and the third is the consciousness of seeing three things are involved so we need to always we need to uh, in our daily life in our conduct we need to start observing the all the three things the object the what what the what is seen the from the sense which is it is being seen and the consciousness which is which is seeing so over time through, through the practice that he has given when we do that 
what basically we realize is that we realize through direct experience the three marks of existence which is that number one everything is impermanent everything is changing second is non-self that means there is no separate self everything is just arising and falling there is no separate independent permanent self that i have and as i realize that i also realize the suffering that in this arising and falling if i get attached then i create suffering for myself so through this practice of, of vipassana meditation by given by mahasi we are able to realize the three marks of existence through a direct experience and through which we can generate liberation right so lot is explained in the book so i am not able to like explain it here in this video suggest you can go and uh, uh, read the book to get more clarity on this right okay so what is the method so first the mahasi says that follow the five precepts in daily life we need to follow no drinking no sexual misconduct no lying no stealing all these things we need to follow in our daily life that is the morality aspect then when we meditate when we meditate we need to start with the breathing the rising and falling of the abdomen we need to start being aware and label it so mahasi's method is all about labeling like rising 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 falling falling this is mentally you have to do just rising rising note the rising as rising note the falling of the abdomen as falling and you have to do this exactly at the time when the event is happening right so it's not that it is when you are when the uh, abdomen is falling then you say rising no you have to just mentally label it at the time when the event is happening like rising rising falling falling right that way you have to do then over time what will happen in your meditation is that your attention may get wandered like there is some some difficult sensation can come up in your body so you go to that sensation and you can just uh, focus on that sens this sensation this sensation sensation then some pain can arise pain pain just focus on that body part and label it pain 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 then there is something else and then when there is nothing else then you come back to the rising and falling of the abdomen this is how then if you are sitting then just sitting 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 being aware through the way of labeling right so the intention here is that we don't let any any of the activity whether of the mind or outside object go at any time we are at least we are able to focus on one object it may be an outside object right or it is like maybe a sound so if there is a some sound that comes listening 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 this act of listening or that sound 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 right or if i am intending to change my posture from here to here i first say intending intending that intention so i label that intention in me and then i change changing 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 resting resting sitting sitting so this is the mahasi's method where each and everything we recognize what is happening right now uh, this is not limited to the meditation only now uh, there is no such timeline time limit prescribed for the meditation like i meditate for 25 minutes in one session so morning and morning and evening i meditate 25 25 25 minutes right so this is my way you can find your way there are no some strict guidelines but this is what mahasi's method is on meditation now talking about mahasi's method is not limited about only the meditation even in the daily life everything you do for example i have this cup right i have this cup so when i want to uh, take the cup the intention arises so recognize the intending intending hand moving moving lifting lifting bringing bringing closer drinking drinking swallowing swallowing right and then this is how you, we need to do now see i understand this is not very easy when you are in a meditation retreat definitely you can do that in a lay life that we are uh, you and me we it's very difficult for us to do that but what we can do is that we can at least slow the slow the pace of our life we need to slow the pace of our life so that we can at least be mindful to what extent see in the what i what my view is that in the lay life that we have right we cannot like say that oh i am a lay person then i cannot do anything and and buddha never said that leave everything and go to a forest and become a monk nahi no so what we have to do whatever as a lay person we have we have to bring more awareness to our daily actions our walking like for example mahasi says walking right step left step right step left step even in that you can go more deeper 
right so what basically mahasi says is that don't be dis disappointed start with whatever level of concentration gradually in your practice the concentration level becomes deeper and deeper and over time he shares the beautiful story of uh, 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 ananda the buddha's disciple who did not was not getting liberated uh, uh, and finally one day he was lying down he was same this whole, this method of satipatthanam and he was lying down and he just uh, noted lying lying and he got liberated right so uh, so that is the potential of uh, liberation that is there in this method so we have to just follow it with full faith and do our practice um, right okay so this is what my sharing was do please read the ebook that is there download it take a print out or read the audio version whatever resonates with you and uh, do share your thoughts your feedback uh, uh, in comment section and um, uh, i hope you benefit from this meditation my only purpose was that at least even one person who if someone gets benefited from this way of meditation it my purpose of making this video will be served uh, thank you for watching uh, namo buddhaye namo buddhaye